Hello guys, welcome to practice test training. In this session, we will learn about the import and export module of practice test. So in order to get started, click on settings and click on import and export link. Now on import and export section, you will see the various entities that you can import in practice test. So you can import issues, you can import test cases, steps and requirements. Then under the, under the export module, you can export all the issues in practice test. You can export all the test cases along with the steps. You can export all the test runs, all the test sets, all requirements and all the attachments. Right? So it provides you a pretty comprehensive list uh, of export options as well. Now, in order to import any entity or import an issue, you have to make sure the mapping is fine from the sheet that you are importing so if you go to if you go to import issues on this screen you can see that you can import file a file uh, type from you know like the excel file so you, you can work on excel xls file and you can import from excel file or you can import from google drive as well so if you are maintaining your issues in spreadsheet uh, in Google Sheets then you can import from Google Drive as well. The key thing to remember is that system fields that are mentioned here like title and the column. So this column is the spreadsheet column. So A, B, C, D, E, F. So the column in the spreadsheet have to map exactly what system field shows. So for example in column A you should be having a value which is the title of the defect right or the, or the issue in column b you need to have the description of the issue in column c you need to have the status of the issue uh, similarly in column d the author right so you need to make sure that uh, whenever you are maintaining your spreadsheet the mapping of the column is mapped to the system fields so if you're putting you know like some value in column e make you need to make sure that the column e value is assigned to so the the best practice to do that is basically in like create a row at the top in your spreadsheet uh, and mention in column a mention the heading as title in column b mention the heading as description so whenever you are adding your issue then you are sure in the spreadsheet where you need to be on in which column you are what you need to be adding right so i have a sample spreadsheet already which is the google sheet and let me bring it side by side so if you see here in column a i have mentioned the reporting i mean the title of the defect so i'll say just one two three here to make it unique because I have already imported uh, similar defect then in the second column in B column you see I have mentioned the description right then in column C I have mentioned the, um, the status then in column D I have mentioned the author right. similarly you have to make sure that in EFG you mention the values accordingly right the best thing to do is in the first row you just mention the system fields and then from second row you, you start you start entering the issues right then if you scroll down on the sheet you'll see custom fields as well you have to do similar thing similar mapping for the custom fields as well and then if for example in the first row you have uh, mentioned the heading the custom field and the system fields then if you select ignore first row it, then the import will ignore the first row and it will start import from the second row where actually your issue lies at the moment my issue is in the first row itself so I'll just uncheck that then if you want if you don't want to receive notification for these import then you can uh, check this box disable mail, no, mail notification of this operation All right so once you are done then click on import from Google Drive and it will if you're not logged into Google Drive it will ask you to log in so use your credential to log into Google Drive and then select the the file the issue file right so it 
I have selected the file and then the worksheet in which the particular issue is there all right so that's that's all done then click on import it will ask you a confirmation you show sure want to pr proceed yes okay and we'll start the import operation all right so it will say import complete imported one row all right so if you go to issues now just have a look yes um reporting format not correct one two three has been imported successfully all right and the status is open so that is pretty much all about import and export feature in practice thank you